Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Bana Yesu apewe sifa. Tuna shukuru jina rabana jioni ya leo kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zake uh, kwamba ametupa nafasi ya kuweza uh, kuwa mbele zake 
na kuweza kulitangaza neno la Bwana kutoka hapa Redeemed Gospel Church. Uh, na tunashukuru kwamba uh, ujumbe wetu unawafikia mkiwa manyumbani jioni ya leo na kwamba Bwana anaenda kuwabariki. Uh, Bwana wabariki mnapoenda kusikiza uh, neno la jioni ya leo. Waimbaji Bwana wabariki sana. Uh, you may have you sit in the presence of the Lord. Amen. So we want to welcome you, people of God, uh, from, your, from the comfort of your houses uh, as we uh, bring the word of God to you this evening from this uh, uh, sanctuary of Redeemed Gospel Church. And uh, I want to believe that God has ministered to you, has uh, protected you, has taken good care of you, and you are well uh, along with your families uh, wherever you are. Uh, we welcome you once again. Uh, nataka tukasome neno tu uh, kwa kifupi katika kitabu cha Warumi. Romans chapter 13 uh, from verse 11. Romans, from Romans chapter 13 from verse 11. That's where we are reading tonight. And the word of God says, And that knowing the time that now is high time to wake up out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed the night is pearl spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of the darkness and let us put on the armor of light let us walk honestly as in the day not in rioting and drunkenness not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye, uh, put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the last their love. That is the reading of the word of God tonight. That is where we are speaking from. And uh, my message tonight is uh, watching uh, unto the day of the Lord, staying awake, watching for the coming of the Lord, is a message that even our Lord Jesus has spoke about, that we should always watch because we don't know the day of our Lord. The Bible tells us that uh, our day, the Lord comes as a thief in the night, and that day, <coughs> that day of the Lord is not known, just like a thief cometh. Wakati hakuna mtu anatarajia, wakati hakuna mtu anajua, lakini wa usiku ndiyo mwizi anakuja na anavunja nyumba na anaiba mari ya mtu, bibiria inatuambia hivyo ndivyo itaka vyo, kuja, itaka vyo kuwa, siku ya kuja kwa mwana wa mungu. Maana hakuna mtu ajuae hiyo siku, hakuna mtu ajuae uo wakati, ila mungu baba ariye njoo binguni. Kwa hivyo bibiria inatuambia tukae a uh, Tukeshe, tukiomba, tukae, tukiwa uh, watu wanatarajia, tuishi ni kama uh, watu ambao wanaenda mbinguni kesho, ama hata hiyo ndakika ingine, tukae, tukiwa uh, watu walio tayari katika kila hari, bibiria uh, pao katika maandiko ya paoro, paoro wakiandika, alikuwa kila wakati anashawishi watu kukaa ni kama watu ambao wanaondoka duniani ndaki kangine. Sio kwamba tuko hapa kukaa. Sio kwamba tuko na wakati mwingi wa kuruma hali hapa. Bali tunaweza tuondoke wakati wa wote. Na hivyo ndivyo haya maandiko ya natuambia kwamba uyu, wakati umefika uh, usiku ume, 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 umeendelea sana na kwa hivyo ni wakati wa kuamka kwa maana wokovu wetu umekaribia kuliko wakati tulipoanza wokovu wetu umekaribia hapa Paulo aongee juu ya uh, siku ya kuokolewa ama ile siku ambayo tuliamini maana kuna siku ambayo tuliamini na hiyo ndio sababu Paulo anatuambia kwa maana sisi tumeamini na kwamba tumempokea Yesu maishani mwetu basi tukae tukitazamia na tukiwa na tarajio kwa hiyo siku ya ukombozi wetu maana imekaribia sana wacha uh, ni seme kwamba ili neno salvation tunaweza kuyangaria kwa, ma, kwa ka, katika maeneo tatu 
kuna salvation which is already passed, uh, which is receiving uh, our Lord Jesus in our hearts. It's the day that we got born again by water and the word of God. The day that we believe the word that we received and we accepted Jesus in our life. It is our day of salvation and that is salvation which is already passed. It's a perspective that is already passed. And then as we continue in our salvation, continuing in this work progressively, the word, uh, 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 the word salvation would also mean being delivered. Uh, number one, uh, your pass is that you are delivered from the penalty of sin because there is a penalty. And that's why the Bible says the wages of sin is dead. And that is where we were delivered in the past by, through the word of God and the water. And we are delivered, and delivered from that. We were saved from that the day we got born again. And then there is the continuous walk, day by day walk, day by day walk, day by day. We are saved from the power of sin. Mana, we are living in the world that is full of sin. <clears throat> Wherever we turn, Kuna dhambi. Ukiangaria, unaweza kuona dhambi. Wakati unawaza, unaweza kuwaza dhambi. Katika matendo, unaweza kuanguka katika dhambi. You can be provoked and you may act uh, in a way that uh, you may enter into sin. And therefore, God saves us from the power of it, from the grip of it, every day and every moment. And then number three, uh, that is, Number two, it is present salvation, which is derived from its power day by day. And then the point number three is that salvation is also derived from the presence of sin. Now, Derived from the presence of sin. Yeah? Tuliokoka tukiwa nduniani, na tunayendelea katika hiyo dunia ya dhambi na kila siku Mungu anatuokoa kutokana na nguvu za hiyo dhambi na katika hali ya, ya, ya kuvutiwa na hiyo dhambi Mungu anatuokoa katika hiyo hali na kuna wakati ambao tunatarajia na hapo ndipo tazamio la kila mkristo kwamba there is one day that we are going to be delivered from the presence of that sin and we will be taken out of the world of, the, of, the, of sin. And uh, that is a uh, uh, future salvation. Uh, that the day we are going to be saved from that uh, presence. Atutakuwa katika yon dunia adhambi tena. Atutakuwa maari tutakuta na yon adhambi tena. Atutakuwa maari tutakutua na yon adhambi tena. Maana wakovu yetu utakuwa umekaribia. And that is the message of Paul in, the, in Romans chapter, 11, uh, chapter 13, verse 11 to 14. When he says, wake up, because our salvation uh, is nearer than the, day that we, that, than the day we began, he means that that day when we are going to be delivered from the presence of sin is very near. And that is our desire. That is the desire of every believer. Kwamba yo siku ikaribia wa araka. Yo siku ya buwana. Yo siku ya kutembere wa kwetu. Yo siku ya kunyakuliwa. Yo siku ya kubarishwa uh, mwiri ambao hawaribiki. Mwiri ambao siwa kuoza. Yo siku ya kuondolewa katika matatizo ya dhambi. Uh, na dunia ambayo imejaa mawovu. Dunia imejaa maogonjwa. Eh? Yo siku paoru anatuambia imekaribia sana na wapendwa imekaribia maana hatujui siku ya kulejerewa na bwana itakuwa siku gani but the, when when we look at the way things are in the world we can see the signs of his coming we can see whatever jesus said will happen things are happening there are the famines and uh, and uh, and uh, and cures and uh, a lot of evil and wickedness is is, is lampant in the world Everywhere, <clears throat> everywhere people are crying, everywhere people are suffering, and everyone is, is agonizing. When will the day of the Lord come? 
hiyo siku ambayo tutatolewa katika ii dhambi hiyo siku ambayo tutatolewa katika huu mwili wa dhambi ambao tutaenda mahali ambapo tumetayarishiwa tutakutana na Mungu wetu ambaye ndiye baba yetu na tutaishi naye milele na milele that is our expectation and that's our desire that is the desire of my heart that the day cometh very fast that day cometh sooner than later Hallelujah. And brethren, the word of God is telling us concerning that day. The word of God is telling us a number of things. How do we prepare? How do we expect? How, 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 what, what is expected of us as we wait for that day? Eh? What is expected of us? Wakati tunangojea hiyo siku ya kulejerewa na bwana. Number one, the word of God is talking about watching. In other words, we are expected to be vigilant. We are expected to watch vigilantly. Kwa maana siku yenyewe hatuijui. Hatujui huyu bwana wetu atakuja wakati gani. And therefore for us to be prepared, we need to be watching. We need to be watchful. We need to be vigilant. We need to stay prepared. We need to stay awake spiritually. Maana hiyo siku ya bwana inakuja upesi Matthew 24 verse 4 the Bible says watch therefore for you know not what hour your lord doth come watch therefore kesheni kesheni kwa maana hamjui bwana wenu atakuja uh, wakati gani uh, 25 verse 13 the Bible says watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour of your visitation verse 24 verse 44 of Matthew says, Therefore be you also ready uh, for such, uh, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Such an hour as you think not. Yeah? The other day we were saying it will be like the days of Noah. The way people are eating and drinking. The way people are going on with their normal responsibilities. The way people are going on with their normal routine uh, things. Uh, yeah, wengine watakutwa sasa hiyo ndio wanaiba, sasa hiyo ndio wana wa, wako katikati ya corruption, wengine watakutwa tu wakiwa katikati ya umaraya. Yaani yale maisha umezoea, hapo hapo ndipo utakutwa. Lakini wewe Mkristo mtu wa Mungu ambaye unanisikiza jioni ya leo, eh Biblia inatuambia hatuwezi kukutwa sisi kama ni mtu ambaye ambaye mwizi amekuja usiku. Why? We know our Lord is coming and we are, uh, we are expecting. And therefore we need to stay prepared. We need to be ready every moment because our Lord is coming in a moment that we do not expect. Na kwa hivyo, Biblia inatuambia, we watch. Uh, we watch. Maana hiyo siku ya bwana wetu inakuja. Na inakuja kwa wakati ambao hatujui. Ya, yeah, inakuja kwa wakati ambao hatuelewi. Hauwezi ukasema hiyo ndio dakika bwana anakuja ati ukae ukiwa mchafu na kwa sababu unajua unajua si kama vile tunangojea wageni. Unajua mgeni wo, atakuja siku fulani na a, a, atakuja kutoka saa saba. Kwa hivyo saa tano ikifika unaona watu wanaanza kukimbia bathroom maana wageni wako karibu. Hata wengine wanaingianga bathroom wakati wamesikia magari ikipiga oni mahali. Wanajua au oh, wamekaribia mtu anakimbia bathroom. Lakini hii siku ya bwana cannot be like that. Sisi ni mpaka tunakaa tukiwa tayari 24 hours in a day. 7 days in a week. 13 days in a month. 365 mwaka ukiisha kabla anakuja aja kuja tunaanza mwingine tukiwa tumejitayarisha vile vile we cannot enter uh, involve ourselves in affairs uh, that may defile us uh, in things that may connect us to the word maana having a connection with the word means that you have become worldly and there is you have no place in the kingdom to come you will have no place where we are expected so we need to stay uh, vigilant. We need to watch vigilantly. Number two, <coughs> number two in, that, in, the, in the scriptures that we have read, we need to walk virtuously. How is that? That means uh, we need to have virtues that guide our lives. We need to walk in a way that uh, 
that, uh, that glorify our Lord Jesus. We need to have our testimony wherever we are. Mahali popote utakuwa, watu wakikuangaria, watu wakikutana na wewe, wanastairi kuele, kuelezea kwamba yule mtu ambaye wameona ni mtu ambaye anapenda mungu. Ni mtu ambaye ni mwokovu. Yeah? We cannot just stay like that. Yeah? So, the word where we have read, Paul is telling us, for us to walk like that, we need first of all to put off the work of the darkness. Mambo yangiza. Yani tuyabue ni kama vazi. Matendo yangiza. Kazi zangiza. Yeah. Works that influence. Works that are influenced by our old nature. Yeah. If you read it from the, uh, in the, in the book of Colossians chapter 3 from verse 5 or the way to 9. Unaona Paulo anaanza anatuambia tuzi tuzi eh tuzi uwe viungo vyetu vilivyo hapa duniani eh kama vile ambavyo vinavutiwa na dhambi za aina barimbari. we put them to death yeah and uh, when we do that then the word is not going to influence us it is not going to attract us in that way we are told put off the works of the darkness matendo yangiza Matendo yangiza, kama vile ulevi, kama vile eh, eh, umaraya, imora, immorality ya kila aina, eh, kama vile <coughs> hasila, masengenyo. Yani, mambo ambayo hayambatani na wokovu, bibiria inatuambia, we put them off. Maana hayo mambo, ndiyo yana yata tuzuiria. Yeah. Your verse, Colossians inasema hivi. Mortify therefore your, your members which are upon the earth. When the Bible is talking, uh, talking about the members, uh, it is talking about the organs, the, 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 the parts of our body, that, uh, that, that, that those that will be involved in a uh, kind of sense like fornication, uncleanliness, idolater affection, evil consequences, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake, the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, and in the which you also walk sometime when you lived in them. The Bible says once, once a time, once upon a time, kabla tuokoke, hayo mambo tulikuwa tuneatenda. Na wakati tulikuwa tuneatenda, hatukuwa tukiona kama ni dhambi. Wakati tulikuwa tunalewa, haikuwa dhambi kwetu. Wakati tulikuwa uh, tunafanya mambo ya kila aina, ya nduniani, haikuwa inaonekana dhambi. Lakini wakati tulijua ukweli, na tukajua yare mambo ni chukizo mbele ya mungu, na tukaja tukaokoka, basi hayo mambo, sasa ni dhambi kwetu. Na hayo ndiyo mambo ya ndunia. And therefore the Bible tells us to put away those things, to put off. And in Colossians, it is telling us to mortify, in, order, in other words, to put them to death. Hallelujah. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his desires. Eh? Lie not. Usidanganye moja na mwingine. Kwa nini? Kwa maana umevua ule mtu wakare, yule mtu wakare pamoja na matendo yake. Usidanganye yule ndugu yako. Usidanganye huyo mtu mwingine kwa maana yule mtu wakare ambaye anavutiwa na yare matendo ambaye ndiye anapenda wa, kudanganya na uongo yeye umemvua <coughs> and therefore brethren if we want uh, to walk and to, uh, to watch vigilantly to be watching for every time if we want to stay ready the bible is telling us put off the old man put off that old nature Put off the works of the darkness. And when we do that, we shall be able to prepare ourselves to stay ready for the coming of the Lord. Number two, the Bible is telling us, put on the new man. In other words, once you put off the old nature, you cannot just, just stay like that. Once you put it off, ni kama kuvua nguo. Hauvua nguo ukai ukiwa uchi. Lakini vwazi ilikiwa chafu unalivua na unavaa mavazi mengine ambaya ni safi. Kwa hivi hapa tunaambiwa tuvue ya rio taka na tuvae ya rio mas, ma, masafi. That's what actually Paul is implying. He is saying put on now. Now that you are a new man. Now that you are clean. Now that you have, you have been forgiven. Now that you have put to death. The, the old man, now that you have put 
to death those members that are influenced by sin eh, put on the new man or the armor of light, depending on what version you read. Put on the new man or the armor of light. Yani, ni kwamba matendo yako yatakuwa nuru yataangaza kwa watu wengine watu wengine wakiona watavutiwa our work should be characterized with the good and honest deeds eh? as befits children of the light our deeds our work yeah matendo yetu our conduct is going to be characterized with good and honest deeds hallelujah ambazo zinahusu watoto wa Mungu therefore Brethren, we need to be ready. Putting off and putting on. You cannot just live without adopting something else. When you put off that which is bad, you put on that which is good. And that, is, that glorifies our God. Therefore, brethren, we need to really be very vigilant. Katika hey, walk, katika kutembea, na katika in dunia as Christians. We need to walk in the light. For the word of God tells us we are the light of the world. Sisi ni ndio ndio mwangaza ndio taa hapa duniani. Tunastahili tukua tukiangaza and therefore we need uh, we need to keep our lamps burning. We need to keep our 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 lamps alight so that people can see that our light. People can see our deeds and they glorify the name of the Lord. The other point is in our continuous victorious walk with the Christ we are delivered from the power of sin. Yeah? In that continuous walk, when we walk like that, when we do things that, are, uh, that, are, that glorify the, the name of the Lord, when we walk in the light as the children of the light, then that is how we are continually delivered from that power of sin, by walking eh, in the light, by uh, uh, putting on good deeds, good and honest deeds, the deeds, of light, eh? by putting on the armor of light, by putting on the new armor, we, uh, we receive the power or the ability to be delivered by the power of God, by the Spirit of God, from the power of sin day by day, every moment. <coughs> Look, chapter 21, verse 6, the Bible says, Watch ye therefore and pray always, that he may be accounted worthy to escape all things that shall come to pass and to stand before, uh, before the Son of Man. Watch therefore, yeah, and pray always that we may be counted worthy when we put off the works of the darkness, uh, when we are able to watch vigilantly, when our works are variant, uh, or we put on the good deeds and honest deeds, yeah, then we watch and pray continuously, we will be counted worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Brethren, we cannot just stay without preparing ourselves. We cannot just stay as though we have arrived. We are on a journey, and our journey is a continuous one until the day of the Lord, until we come out of these bodies, until we are delivered from this world of sin. Brethren, we are on a continuous journey. And therefore, we should uh, keep on uh, praying, uh, watching and praying, yeah? preparing ourselves, walking virtuously, uh, portraying variant words or good and honest deeds, watching and praying continuously so that we may be counted worthy to stand in the presence of the Son of God. Ah, the other point is, we are urged to continually focus on Christ in order to live victorious life that will not fulfill the fleshly lusts or desires. That is what uh, uh, verse 14 is telling us. When we focus on Christ, when we continually look unto him, when we continually seek to please him, when we continually seek to glorify him, yeah, we, we will have no room, we will have no room in our lives uh, to fulfill the lustful desires. You know, sin, when I look at sin, I, I realize sins are two, in two categories. There are public sins 
and there are secret sins, private sins, like lust. You may lust, and we won't know that you are lusting. You may look unto a woman to lust, but we won't know that you are lusting. You may look unto somebody else's property, and you lust after it, but we won't know. This is a private sin. Now, the only way to be delivered from that lust is to fully be clothed with Christ. Fully be clothed in, with Christ. Fully be clothed uh, with the arm of light. Fully focus on Christ and the, your meditations and uh, your desires be in him. That way we will not have an opportunity to uh, fulfill the desires of the flesh. Man, uh, fleshly desires are, uh, are deadly. They, they kill. Our daily walk should glorify Jesus in every way. Our daily walk, our conduct, brethren, it must glorify Christ. Like, like this time when people are at home, they are, they are, or they have been at home when they have not been uh, coming to church and they have been going on their own businesses, they have been going on with their own things, uh, wherever they are, whether they are in the house, whether they are within the, the uh, places where people know them, or in the marketplace, you are expected to conduct yourself in uh, a way that glorifies Christ. Uh, you are expected uh, to have a communication or a conversation that pleases our God, because we are on a journey, and we cannot just afford to live carelessly. We cannot just do things haphazardly. We cannot just lay stay like people who have arrived while we are still on a journey. Ni mpaka wa watu wa mungu tukae katika hari ya kujitearisha. Maana mungu wetu anakuja na anakuja upesi. Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 and 12 the Bible says he that is just let him let him uh, he, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Uh, and he which is uh, filthy, let him be filthy still. Uh, and he that is righteous, uh, let him be righteous still. Uh, and he that is sorry, let him be holy still. Uh, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me uh, to give every man according, uh, according as his work shall be. Brethren, our Lord is coming, and he is coming quickly. He is saying he is coming with our uh, reward. And he is going to reward everyone according to his deeds. He is going to reward everyone according to his works. Bebelia in Atuambia, let the unjust continue to be unjust. And the wicked continue to be wicked. The filthy continue to be filthy. And the righteous to be righteous. But one thing that is very clear is that everyone will be rewarded in accordance to his works. Kuringana na kaza mtu. Yeye atapokea ujila kutoka kwa mkono wa bwana na hiyo ndio sababu watu wa Mungu I ask you in the name of Jesus to continually prepare yourself to continually stay awake to continually uh, be vigilant because our Lord is coming and he is coming with a reward with uh, with this reward in his hand Revelation, in Revelation chapter 2 and 3 we are admonished seven times uh, seven times have we been admonished uh, and the word is, uh, tells us he who has an ear, let him hear <coughs> what the Spirit says to the church. Seven times we have been admonished. Yes, you will say those who are, uh, were words that were spoken to the seven churches that were in Asia at that time. But those words are uh, the word of God is new every day and is spoken to the church today that we need, uh, we need to listen to what the Spirit is telling the church. We need to know that our Lord is coming. And in every, in every, in every admonition that, is, uh, that, that, uh, that the word says, hear what the Spirit is saying, there is a reward. There is a warning and there is a reward. Brethren, if we want to get delivered from this world of sin, if we want to live with Jesus in a place which is sin-free, in the place of peace and joy, in the place of of, 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 of prosperity, spiritual prosperity. Brethren, we need to be vigilant. We need to watch. We need to be ready. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to put off the old man with all his desires. And we need to put off those uh, works of, of the darkness, those deeds of the darkness, uh, and put on the good uh, and honest deeds, the works of the, of the light, because we are the children of the day. Friends, 
the purpose to overcome <coughs> we need we need to have a focus yeah because we need for us for us to have that reward we need to overcome we need to overcome the, the world we need to walk in such a way that we will be victorious day by day we need to walk victoriously day by day yeah the reward is for them that overcome the reward is for the victorious. The reward is for them that are put off. The old man, the old nature, the old uh, deeds, the works of the darkness. And they are put to death. Those members, eh? they are the members of their body that is upon the earth, that are attracted by sin, that are attracted to the, to the things of this world. We need to put them to death so that we may be able to walk victoriously, so that we may be able to overcome, so that we may be the children of the light, and so that God may be glorified in our day-to-day -day work. Remember this, brethren, that we have a future, a future, we are looking at a future day of, of our salvation, or rather, if you want, you can call it the day of our deliverance, when we are going to be saved totally from the presence of this sin, this word that is corrupt, this word that is uh, that is causing grief and pain to us. Uh, this war that is uh, that is full of death. This war that is uh, that is full of wicked men. That is full of uh, things that are not pleasing to us. We are going to be delivered from it, uh, and we will be ever uh, in the presence of our God. We will only live victoriously and walk circumspect, uh, circumspectly, because the, as the children of the day, as we see the day of the Lord draw at night. Hallelujah. That day, that day of the Lord, the day of our salvation is nigh. And therefore the word urges us to watch. And I tell you, people of God, wherever you are, wherever you are listening to me, watch and pray because you don't know the day of your visitation. God bless you. God do you good. As, uh, as you creep on uh, meditating that word, and I want to believe it has reached uh, your house life from this place. And uh, I know God is going to bless you and to do you good. Uh, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to bless your name tonight. I want to exalt you and glorify your King of glory for your goodness and mercies. Thank you, our Father, for the opportunity to speak your word, my God, to your people, Jehovah God. Our Father, our pray, King of glory, my God, that you enable us, oh my God, uh, to stay, my God, awake, uh, to be worshipped by our Father, Jehovah God, uh, prepared, my God, unto the day of the coming of our Lord Jesus, the day of our visitation of our Father. How I pray, my God, that, the, that my, 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 my listeners, oh my God, uh, will be able, Jehovah God, to bless thy word. <coughs> And let my God victoriously, King of glory, walk in a way, Jehovah God, that will glorify your name. And stay awake, O King of glory, watching vigilantly our Father. As we say the day draweth nigh, my God, I commit your people unto Jehovah God. And I speak, my God, the blessings over their lives. I speak thy favor upon them, O King of glory. I pray that Jehovah God, the power of your word, may continually transform us, oh my God. And the power of your Holy Spirit, my God, Jehovah God, may continue to empower us. So my God, to overcome my God this war, O oh King of Glory, to overcome sin, oh my God, Jehovah, to overcome this flesh, oh my God, and this desire, so oh King of Glory, that when that day comes, Lord, we shall not be ashamed, but we shall boldly march, oh my God, and my God, Jehovah God, we shall be received into the rest that we expect. I thank you, Jehovah God, and bless you. I speak peace unto your people. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.